Alright, here we go. Now, speed limits in the video, I'm going to go as slow as possible. I know you may have realized my earlier video, I may have been speeding, like, really fast, like 25 or 30. Trick was, when I made it, when I made that during video options class, I wanted to do it to make it look like you were speeding through the snow. Okay, everything looks good. Alright. Yeah, this is my main this is my main road marker drive. Not we don't much in the way of accumulations. Everything's been above freezing for most of this event. So anything that is falling right now is currently melting. I am however noticing a coating on some of my neighbors' front lawns. And you very may as well see that too. Let's listen to 1060 and see what the heck's going on. Also, we do some speed heading in. We're seeing a few snowflakes in the rain. And it's heavy travel through Tonsha Hawking in the curve and Montgomery Valley Gerard Sorry. West on Cass City Avenue heading out of town. Speaking of City Avenue, actually, where it's a township line at this point uh, on the uh, Delaware County uh, Philadelphia border series accident. Southbound Route 1 township line. Uh, an accident there just below Haverford Road. Southbound side blocks and Lacan does get by. And uh, problems early this morning still with us in Upper uh, Dublin. Montgomery County. Susquehanna Road detour between Limehill and Pike, Route 152, up to Dresher Town Road, this serious accident there. That's been over an hour now. East on 422, heavy around Oaks and uh, down to Valley Forge Park. People, as we said, heavy through Concha Hawk and the Montgomery down to Girard. And you can see a little snow here in the city, believe it or not. Uh, traveling in uh, 95 South, it's Academy, uh, it's the Cotton and Pitt, Betsy Ruster is down to Girard Avenue, New Jersey. Uh, also, a couple of things north on 42 Freeway, heavy at 295, nearly broke down vehicle and still the problem in Cherry Hill, a serious accident east of 38 at Church Road, one lane gets by. That's right, there's no reported delays. And another update coming up in less than 10 minutes. And we'll see you at 24 hour traffic center. All right, Sam, K-Y-W News Time, 704. Well, the weather certainly leaves much to be desired this morning. Folks north and west of the city are seeing snow right now. And the five days riddled with rain. The big question, of course, this morning, well, besides when the snow going to end, and um, is well, what are fans going to see when they head out to opening day? Acting Weather Meteorologist Dave Samuel joining us live. Dave, I guess uh, we should start with the snow out in the burbs this morning. Yeah, it seems north and west. The precipitation became heavy enough to cool it off, and we are seeing some snow falling uh, pretty close to the city in some places across Chester County. A lot of snow falling. Uh, I expect the snow to start falling across a lot of Montgomery County, too. I think in Philadelphia, we'll just see rain out of this, but if we get a heavy burst of rain, I wouldn't be surprised to see a flake or two snow mixed in. But those northwest suburbs could see a slushy coating out there and not being served. The temperatures are above freezing everywhere, so we should not have any road issues to worry about. But as far as getting the rain out of here, I think it will be over with by midday. I can't rule out an afternoon shower, but we should uh, be dry enough to get the baseball game, and then any shower we see during the game should uh, come through a uh, fairly quick order. So I think we will get the game then. After this mess ends, we'll have a high of close to 50 this afternoon with a gusty wind. Then tonight down to 36. Tomorrow, better day. Partly sunny, 54. I think 56 on Sunday with lots of sunshine and uh, peaking ahead till Tuesday. I have a high temperature of 72 degrees forecast, although we could see a thunderstorm. Right now in the Independence Mall, it's 35 degrees of a cold rain, 37 at the airport, heading towards 50 this afternoon. I'm Active Weather Meteorologist Dave Samuel reporting live on KYW News Radio. A warm rain is better than a cold rain any day, Dave. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Focus on that 72, thanks. Now we head out live to the ballpark. KYW's Mike DiNardo uh, is there. Uh, where fans are anticipating one of the most, uh, I can't get it out, Mike. This is one of the most anticipated opening days in Philly history. Let's say that. Certainly is, Carol. And you know, no, an opening day is not unheard of in Philadelphia. If my memory serves correctly, uh, opening day 1981 against Montreal, there was the snow uh, back at the vet. But uh, fast forward uh, 30 years, and uh, here we are at Citizens Bank Park. It's raining. It's 
called, uh, and uh, don't see any flakes yet, uh, but uh, still all systems are go for uh, opening day 2011, says Phil's DT for operations, Mike Style. I've been looking at the weather for this particular day uh, for more than, a, more than a week now, and it just actually keeps getting better and, and better in terms of the forecast for us to be able to play and to be able to play uh, on opening day and throughout the weekend without any delay. Uh, still, there's a, it's, it's a cold rain here, and there's a, a line of fans outside uh, the ballpark here waiting for standing room tickets to go on sale at 9 a.m. Uh, they've got their tents, uh, they've got their umbrellas. And All right, right now this is, we're just about to go to Shiloh Road. You can see the roads. They're just wet. As you just heard on the radio, temperatures are above freezing, so that's good. But we still do, however, want to take our time with this. We don't know if there's any surprise slippery spots with this thing. To speak or read a new language. Well, now you can. Introducing an all-new, more powerful Rosetta Stone. Developed to fully immerse you in your new language. The all-new Rosetta Stone software is now easier than ever before. You can learn your new language on your computer. Then practice in your car or on your smartphone or MP3 player without ever opening a book or memorizing a single word. It's never been easier to learn a new language. And to celebrate, Rosetta Stone is giving away free demo CD-ROM of their all-new language immersion technology. Get yours absolutely free. Call now. 1-800-300-4824. Immerse yourself in your new language. Call now and receive your free demo CD-ROM of the all-new Rosetta Stone software. 1-800-300-4824. For your free demo, call 1-800-300-4824. 1-800-300-4824. Coming up, another look at AccuWeather. Is your family waiting for the market to improve to sell your home? Many growing families want to move, but are losing sleep because they're upside down with their mortgage and feeling stuck in their current home. I'm Mike Kalin, president of Marketplace Homes. We've developed a six-year lease guarantee that has helped hundreds of families just like yours move into a new home without the burden of a short sale or foreclosure. If you purchase a new home in one of our partner communities, Marketplace Homes will give you a guaranteed lease on your current home for up to six years. We'll pay for tenant damage, cover utilities, cut the grass, shovel the snow, and you'll receive rent even if there's no tenant. It's guaranteed. Discover how easy it is to build new. It takes just 30 seconds to qualify your home by going to MarketplaceHomes.com. If you think you can't move, think again. Our partner, Heritage Homes Group, offers a wide range of homes and communities across Bucks, Montgomery, and Lehigh County. For more information, go to MarketplaceHomes.com today. Now streaming on your Android phone. Hear KYW News Radio and all of the CBS radio stations with the Radio.com app for Android. Download it at the Android Marketplace or get the app for iPhone and iPad at the App Store. KYW News Time, 709. AccuWeather says we'll have periods of rain this morning. There is no mixed in. And it's coming down pretty good in some of the far western suburbs this morning. Then a cloudy, raw, breezy afternoon, the high of 50. Tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Maybe a passing shower and the high near 54. Sunny on Sunday. KYW News Time, 709. An FDA advisory panel has determined that there is not enough evidence linking food dyes to ADHD and other behavioral problems in kids. The panel says the evidence right now doesn't support a link between artificial colors and hyperactivity or the addition of food warning labels. Peanuts don't have warning labels, argued Tennessee health official Dr. Tim Jones. Peanuts can kill people. Mm. Kill people. And it's not an uncommon allergy. The decision disappoints parents such as Elizabeth Douglas, who said her daughter Kim and Kim's son both benefited from dye-free diet. We saw a dramatic change in Kim's behavior. The tantrums and angry outbursts ceased. Barry Bagnato, CBS News, Silver Spring, Maryland. Hey, it'll be a news time, 710. Muammar Gaddafi's army is holding back the outmanned and outgunned rebel forces, but his inner circle may be crumbling. Another high-ranking official bailed yesterday, the day after the foreign minister defected the Great Britain. Correspondent John Hendren reports this could be the beginning of the end of his regime. As Gaddafi hunkers down in Tripoli, his foreign minister and former top intelligence officer has fled to the United Kingdom. 
The defection of Musa Kusa is a major blow to the Gaddafi regime. The White House says it's like rats leaving a sinking ship. Gaddafi says leaders from the Western countries taking part in the NATO intervention are affected by power madness, and they are the ones who should be stepping down from office. Hey, what'll be news time 7 11. We'll check on traffic next. This is the Pennsylvania Convention Center on Tuesday, April 5th from 10 to 2 to learn about the latest in solar technology at the PV America Expo. Admission is free. Visit PVAmericaExpo.com. That traffic report coming up. the traffic report you're listening to. Let's go. Wow. So, those you just heard, it's coming down pretty good. Around 202 and Route 100. And right now, it's currently doing both rain and snow. Just look at that. What's up, Swap Neil? What do y'all think of the snow? Uh, well, as I saw my Facebook stats this morning, I said, this may be cool, but certainly ain't funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was listening to the traffic report this morning. They said it was, like, really coming down around Route 202 and 100. You know, that area. Uh, and they did say we might see a changeover back to rain before this ends later on. Wow. Yeah, I've also been checking up on accumulations. There are not much in and around our area. Supposedly, they say we've had about 0 0.3 inches. Well, that's because we've had all this rain and stuff. Wow. Yep. Now yeah, piss the auditorium. Whoa. They got a few. S yeah, they just found a few sleep pallets bouncing off my coat. Yep. Yeah, you can see it. Right by right by the auditorium. No accumulations on the roads, so that's good news. But everything looks good. This is what MEC 10 was calling for. You said rain and snow. We're currently getting both right now. Don't worry, he's pointing up. 
All right, stairs are just a little wet, so it's also good too. It's a little wet, a little white, but it's cool. You don't worry. Wow, there's a parking lot. It's nothing. There's a stave off in the distance. Really look like it's starting to come down right now. Yeah, this is amazing, man.